I'm sure all of your life you have seen little packets of ketchup that look exactly like this one. And I've been using these just like you have been for, oh, at least 50 years. And then the other day I was, well, I guess it was a few days ago now, I was driving through Wendy's and I thought I saw the girl, like I asked for ketchup and I thought I saw her with her hands kind of cupped holding this. I thought, but what is she doing? And sure enough, Heinz has come up with this cute little ketchup packet. And if you take, let me show you the back side of it. You can see through it. Now, they've had similar packets for um, dipping sauces for chicken nuggets and that kind of thing for a long time. But I just thought this was the cutest thing ever. It looks like one of those bottles that you stand upside down. That was a cool invention too. I just love that. The ketchup bottles, you stand them in this position so when you go to use them that the ketchup is actually at the proper end of the bottle. But if you look at it now, the if you do that, the, the writing is upside down. It's just the same, I think. This is true for the, the big ketchup bottle. But at any rate, you can take this, this end here and you can twist this off and then use it like a ketchup bottle and squeeze your ketchup out of the end of it. Or if you're driving <laughs> and you're trying to eat french fries when you're driving or whatever, if you'd rather dip your french fries then you take this corner right here, sorry everything's crooked, <laughs> everything's crooked, take this corner right here and uh, pull it back, or any corner I suppose, but that one's probably bent. Let's see, is that bent? Well, it's a really nice package. Actually, you know how sometimes they're hard to get a hold of? I don't know if you can see that, but it it bends back quite a ways, the foil on it. And then you just rip that back and you've got a nice little dipping tray full of ketchup right there. So there's, a st there's an analogy behind this. Don't be like the old-fashioned ketchup package and keep doing things the same old way. Um, I actually, I actually found a different way to use this after years and years and years. I was, I was sitting here one day. I don't eat French fries very often, but on rare occasions, sitting here the other day, and I just twisted the corner off this little packet and used it. Let's say this is like a French fry. I, I used it like squirted the, the ketchup right down the end of the French fry, which is kind of funny. Silliness, total silliness. I guess I'm a little bit sad over all the. Um, destruction and the terrible weather we've had the last three days. Not in our locality directly, but around the United States, and it's kind of sobering, so I thought I'd pick something lighthearted like a little ketchup package. So this kind of flipped my back. I just was thinking, I was just thinking what a cool idea that was, and then I thought, wait a minute, they've been using dipping sauces like this for 20 years. What took them so long to get in the game with the ketchup? So, uh, I'm trying to see if it says how much it weighs. Yes, it does. It looks like 95 one hundredths of an ounce. If I'm looking at it straight. So anyway, that was what, what I was gonna say, I was gonna say was, don't be like this package of ketchup that you wait years and years and years and years to find a better way to do things. Find a better way to do things now and improve your life drastically, like this package of ketchup. So that's my parable of ketchup packet for today. Hope things are well where you are. If you're digging out from the disasters of the tornadoes, our thoughts and prayers are with you, and we hope that you'll have every blessing that you need. God bless your efforts to prepare. Make a list and check it twice so you can eat more than just beans and just rice and have a little ketchup, too. <laughs>